Hey guys, how you doing? This is Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson. So today we're going to be talking about ratio and proportions and I have my handy dandy notes with me. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so a ratio, let's talk about what a ratio is. Okay, so a ratio basically is the relationship between two amounts. Okay, so for example, we have... Um, one-fourth or you could say two-fourths so basically the ratio it describes how how these amounts relate to one another okay or so how two different amounts relate to one another so for example you can say uh, one is two two as two is two four okay so that's just an example so they have to be equal so let's describe uh, let me get my eraser we're going to talk about two how when you're doing ratios especially in pharmacy your units need to be equivalent okay so um, I know on a few videos back we talked about converting units so that's gonna come handy when you're dealing with two different ratios that are of different units so for example you may have one and a half uh, let's see one gram to two milliliters and then you may be have another ratio that says two grams to four liters so as you can see here before you can do any kind of comparison or any type of converting between these two ratios um, you're going to need to first get these units to equal one another so you will convert um, remember our chart Okay, so we're going from milli, which is here, to liters. So that's one, two, three. So to get these two, to get your two and your four equivalent, you're going to have to take the two and go one, two, three. So this actually would be point zero zero two liters okay that's what that would be changed to so that these two can be equivalent as far as their units go okay and that's the first step uh, when you're converting um, let's talk about now let's just do a recap of a fraction too, as well when we're talking about so we have the numerator and the denominator equals numerator over denominator And I'm going to perform an example for you uh, really quickly so you can get more of an understanding on what I'm talking about. So let's say we have one bottle and in one bottle you have 20 tablets. Okay? So we see here we have a 1 to 20 ratio. Okay? We got a 1 to 20 ratio. So, let's say you have three bottles. How many tablets is that? So, how will we find this out? Uh, there are many things we can do. Of course, we can see that one one bottle equals 20 tablets 
So if we have three bottles, then basically what we can do is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we can cross multiply. Remember uh, when we talked about what variables were and, and how to find certain variables? So th since this is the missing link, we can replace that with an x, we can replace it with a variable, and we can cross multiply and solve for x, or we could simply just say uh, 20 tablets times 3 bottles. Because if we already know that one bottle gives us 20 tablets, then obviously 3 bottles, if we had 3 of this ratio, then that's going to give us the number of tablets, which would be 60 tablets. Well, for the sake of working out the problem, I will also uh, cross-multiply it for you. So, this is what the work would look like. And let me get a different color marker here to, uh, so that we can work it out. So, this is what the problem would look like. Cross-multiplied, it would be 1x because one bottle times your variable here, which is x, and you would say equal, equal sign stays. Then you would say 20 times 3, which is 60. And when you solve for x, it's going to be over 1 because you're going to cancel out the 1, which leaves you with the x here. x comes down and equals 60. So you got 60 tabs. Okay? And we're still talking about ratios and proportions. All right. So keep in mind, guys, when we're talking about ratios, always remember these two rules. So let me, let me just note that these are the rules first. So rules. First rule is, the first rule is, you must know three of four values. So you must know three out of four values. So if I give you the word problem that says, like the one we just did, if I say, uh, for instance, one bottle, equals 20 tablets then I'll say so I have three bottles how many tablets is that so basically you see here out of our values that we have we know one two three values and we're looking for the fourth okay so that's all that rule is expressing now the second rule is this, as I mentioned to you earlier on in this lesson, that you need to know, or, or rather, your numerator and denominator must have the same units. So between the two ratios that you're trying to compare, like for instance, I'll use the same example again, uh, one bottle, 20 tabs, equals, let's see, three bottles, and we have, we're trying to figure out which one it is. So as you can see here, we must have the same units between the ratios, so between the two ratios. So we have one bottle, so bottle is our unit here, three bottles, bottle to bottle, and then here we have tablets, so of course our unit here is going to be tablets, okay, and that, of course that will be 20 tablets. And we're going to get into more when the units are not the same, what we need to do, okay, we're going to work some like that too. But just so you know, those are the two rules to always remember 
when dealing with proportions. So when you see two proportions, you're going to be looking for these two things, okay? Are my units the same? And also looking at um, your, your numerator and your denominator to see if we know three of the four values already and which value we're actually looking for. That's where your variable is going to go, okay? And for more on variables, you can check out the video in this playlist uh, concerning variables, okay? I have a video on that. So, let's, let's work one with uh, milliliters right now. So, if we have, uh, let me use black. If we say one bottle contains uh, 120 milliliters, then how many bottles does, I mean, how many milliliters those three bottles contain X and of course well put that in red of course so looking at this ratio of course we know we looking at okay we got three va three variables three of our values rather and we don't know we have a missing variable here that we're trying to find out so we got that rule covered second rule we notice that our units, so we got bottle to bottle, we got milliliters to, and we're looking for milliliters. Okay, so this is what we have, and we're transitioning to what we want out of the prescription. Okay, so let's look at it like this. We can cross multiply, so that gives us 1x equal sign stays. And we cross here, which is going to give us 360. And we divide here, cancel out the 1. Now we got our variable by itself is isolated, equals 360. And that just comes down. So this is our answer, which goes here. And of course, that's going to be 360 ml. So that's how you solve that. That's how you solve those two ratios and that problem. All right, so between solving both ratios and proportion, they're both the like. Just make sure that when you have uh, some numerator or some number over denominator equals to some number over the denominator, just make sure you're looking at units. So are my units alike? So make sure your units, so if it's ml, ml, if it's grams here, it needs to be grams there. So your units need to be the same across the board. Uh, and also, basically the next step you're going to do after looking at those units, cross multiply. So you're going to cross here, you're going to cross there. And isolate your variable, of course. And then, after that, you just determine x. Which we already discussed in a previous video, that x would basically be the variable or the missing link to this puzzle, okay? So, if you're given 1, 2, 3, then obviously here is where x would be, and you're trying to find that missing link. So basically, that's how you solve those uh, different ratios and proportions. Okay, so thank you for checking out this video. If you have any more questions, ask in the comments below. Or you can send an email to pharmacytechlessons at gmail.com. I'm Onisha Biggs. This has been another Pharmacy Tech Lesson. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date with any new videos that are coming. And we have a lot of material coming. So you guys just stay tuned and we'll help you if needed. Bye.